Hi everyone, Animal Girl here, back with another edition of TV Talk. It's Saturday, and that means it's Touched by an Angel Day. And this week's episode was, Show Me the Way Home. Monica's newest assignment is to be the history teacher and assistant coach at a high school in Colorado. Now, but her actual mission is to help out the coach and not of the high school baseball team and not as his assistant coach. Earl, the local hero of a very small town, is someone from Monica's past who she helped during a during a war. Now they don't say what war it is, but I'm guessing it's the um, either the Korean or the Vietnam War, since they were the most recent at at this point in time. Um. So, and for this time and for the time period of this episode, um. And she learns that. Earl has a secret that he's been keeping from everyone and that he, there is a reason for why he has put up so many walls between him and the boys he coaches and the people of the town. And I don't want to give too much away, but trust me, it's a very good episode. Okay, things I liked about this episode. I liked how it really, more than... The first episode really sets up the rest of the series. We um, we will see Monica and Tess um, filling various little roles within the community. One, one day um, they'll be teachers. Another day they'll be another week they'll be wait waitresses. Another week. Um, They'll be volunteers for a charitable organization. So they really, they fit the role needed for their assignment. And you'll notice that they, they are, they, they'll do that. Um, also, I like how we meet someone from Monica's past. Um, now, this is going to happen um, frequently throughout the series. We will meet several people from, that Monica has had in contact, has had contact with during her career as a search and rescue angel. Um... And, you know, you've got to keep in mind, Monica's been around for centuries, um, pr probably since the dawn of time. So she's come into contact with many, many people. Um, I also, another thing I really liked about this episode was the moral. I really liked the moral, and I don't want to give away what the moral is, but I really do, I really did like the moral of this. And you'll notice that a lot of the Touch by Angel episodes have some kind of underlining moral to them, and they're not religious morals are just every day, every person, every every person morals. And I really like that. Now, things I didn't like about this episode, there was really only one, and you'll notice that within this series, there are not a lot of things I don't like about the episode, is there are not a lot of things that are, that I'm going to nitpick over the episode as I, episodes as I will with other TV talk series. And the one thing I really didn't like with this episode was the attitude Monica's assignment um, Earl had um, throughout most of the episode. Now, I know he, it was supposed to be a big, he acts this way, and then he gets the big revelation that his assistant is an angel, and it changes everything, but I really, that was just the, um, it's just, his attitude just really drove me completely nuts, and I couldn't figure out why until the end, and it's like, well, considering she knows who it is, I would have liked to it to have had that come out a little earlier. Okay, question for the week is, what do you want to be remembered for? Please leave your answer in the comment section. Um, also, please note that there are two voting pools going on right now. One is for the... Um, and... Um, well, uh, episode, what series do you want me to do for Thursday's um, TV Talk episode once I'm done with Big O? And your choices are Bidden, Once Upon a Time, The Last Airbender, and Knights of the Zodiac. Also, 
Um, in eight weeks, um, Monday will be opening up for a new TV talk series. So, let me know which one you would like me to do. Your choices are Game of Thrones, Superman the Animated Series, Fruits Basket, and Mountain Monsters. I'll have little like if you want clips in the comment section. All you have to do is like or love whichever one you want. And that'll be the one that gets the most votes will be the one that I do. Okay, so just really simple, really straightforward. Okay, um, please note that you have until Thursday, September 21st to cast your votes for Thursday's new episode and Monday, September 11th to cast your votes for Monday's episode as Friday, September 22nd, I'll be announcing the winner for Thursday's new series and Tuesday, September 12th, I'll be announcing the winner for Monday's series. Um, Please note that in the event of a tie or no votes, I have the final decision, so please make your voices known. Um, also, feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those. And, feel, and please like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I have the information um, right down at the bottom of the screen. If there was a little confusion as to what as to my Instagram and Twitter addresses as I don't use Animal Girl for those it's a completely different series so they're right there um, I'll also have them in the description section um, also please note that all pictures seen within this video belong to their respective artists I own absolutely nothing Okay, please check out my other Touch by an Angel videos, and right now there's really only one. And feel free to check out my other TV Talk videos, which are listed right there. And you'll see there's a new one on the list, which is Walker, Texas Ranger, which debuted this past Wednesday. Also feel free to check out my other videos, and the categories are listed right there. There's also my last Unicorn 5 subscriber special. Thank you for watching and have a very nice day.